what's going on guys, it's me Noctipause here playing a brand new series along with the other series that we've already posted. This one is going to be the Pokemon Soul Silver Randomized Nuzlocke Challenge. So guys, I've been doing a little bit of streaming lately on Twitch. Make sure to check out my channel in the description below if you haven't already. Um, I've been doing a little streaming on Twitch, uh, doing a Nuzlocke Challenge the last maybe week or so. And I started to really, really like them. I think they're kind of interesting and pretty fun. Um, so I decided I was going to go ahead and just, I mean, why not just go ahead and start a series on it since I enjoy it so much. So I already did a, did the, use the universal randomizer. We're going to go ahead and start this up here in a second. I don't know why I went back to the screen. I don't like that. Anyways, um, we're going to start this up here in a second. Um, I haven't actually played any, like, I haven't actually played a randomizer on this yet. So um, I'm pretty stoked to give this a try because this is hands down one of my absolute favorites, uh, favorites, um, sorry, favorite, yeah, favorite remakes. Um, this being the Gen 2 remake. So guys, we're gonna jump into this. Um, this is gonna be obviously the same kind of length, uh, similar to the Blaze Black and my other Pokemon um, playthroughs. Gonna be around 20 minutes or so. Try to keep every episode about that one. So let's go ahead and get into this. And I'm actually using like this really cool controller that I got. I definitely forgot I had. Um, and actually is making it like 10 times easier to play. Um, looks like the sun is descending in the sky. So this would be what it's called, or what, what is called twilight, wouldn't it? Okay, that was like the weirdest thing ever. I don't remember that ever happening. Um, okay, oh, yep, we get it, we get it, we get it, we get it. Let's go. This is the world that, uh, wildly inhabited by creatures known as Pokemon. Dude, Gen 2 is hands down one of my favorites. I think Gen 3 or Gen 4 is is my absolute favorite. But um, Gen 2, especially the remake for Gen 2, is so good, dude. So good. Um, if you guys haven't, I would suggest that you play along with me. If you have the uh, uh, Universal Randomizer installed, um, I would say go ahead and like start up your own and play with me <clears throat> through every episode. And then uh, send me tweets and stuff and... Uh, uh, comment like the Pokemon that you've caught so far or you know that kind of stuff and then uh, feel free to drop in the comments um, what kind of Pokemon you want to see me actually catch and stuff um, I mean anything that you specifically would like to see and then kind of just like uh, what you think I should do with my party um, especially like because uh, it'll be it'll be the blah, 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 blah. <laughs> uh, the uh, starters will actually be completely different than the normal typical starters. So anybody that's unaware of the actually while I have this set here, let's go ahead. I actually have the just the typical Nuzlocke rule or the uh, general Nuzlocke uh, challenge rules uh, saved on my desktop, so I can make sure I can I double check on stuff like that. Anyways, um, for anybody that's unaware of what the Nuzlocke challenge is, it's basically um with the, it's well the randomized Nuzlocke challenge. It's basically where you, um, every single Pokemon that you run into in the wild is going to be completely randomized. It could be anything from the past generations. And um, with this, with Soul Silver, I think. Mm, someone might have to correct me if I'm wrong, but I think Gen 3 Pokemon are in here too, since it's the remake of Gen 2. Anyways, guys, um, so, and then also your starters are going to be completely randomized, as I said that uh, uh, previously. Um, so anyway, the idea is that um, anytime you get a Pokemon, you need to nickname it to create a more uh, significant bond between you and that Pokemon because once that Pokemon actually faints, you have to either deposit it in the PC forever or release it. So basically, um, you want to make sure you're catching Pokemon enough Pokemon to sustain you throughout the entire game and then also not let your Pokemon die, which in the last couple times I've been streaming it slash practicing, it's a little bit more difficult than I anticipated. So one of the all, the other twists is um, the only Pokemon that you can catch in the wild are going to be, it's going to be the first Pokemon you encounter on a new route. So how it works is like say after I get my Pokemon I'm going to go out to the first route there. If I had Pokeballs, which I won't when I start, I can only catch the very first Pokemon I encounter. And if I if it faints or if I, uh, if I run away I can't catch anymore. And then also, from what I read, I'm pretty sure any, like, Pokemon that you get as gifts, or I think static Pokemon, which I don't know if static Pokemon are in this gen. I don't think they are. That's something else I can't remember. But any gift Pokemon or static Pokemon that you get on a route are considered your encounter and, and count as, like, your Pokemon. Like, like so in, like, Black, you end up getting, like, a Pansy or Pansage or whatever. That counts as your encounter for that route. 
So then you can't catch any more Pokemon on that on that route. So, anyways, let's get into it. I think I've explained a little bit uh, a little bit of it that you guys can kind of get the idea. Um, there's a few other things that kind of go along with it, but I have my notes up here that um, I can like go over if I'm confused or anything like that. Which, for the most part, I've been playing this for a little bit, so I think I know somewhat what I'm doing. Anyways, guys, I'm hoping, I'm really hoping that the starter Pokemon are <clears throat> not necessarily like OP, but I'm really hoping there's at least like one that's that stands out. Because I mean, there's been a lot of times where I've I've uh, I've practiced or streamed it where like there's either multiple Pokemon that are really really good that I can't decide on, or there's literally like there's nothing like uh, they're all kind of trash, but. I'm hoping that there's at least one that stands out that I, I would like to run the game with. And uh, I also have the randomizer set up that, um, I, I should probably double check on that. I know I have it set up um, that the tr uh, that the, my rival keeps his starter Pokemon because I plan on trying to keep my starter Pokemon too unless it faints. So I would like my rival to also keep his starter Pokemon because I think that'd be, I think that'd only be fair. So let's go in here, get our starter Pokemon, and uh, actually kind of get this, uh, this little Nuzlocke challenge uh, started here, guys. So, <clears throat> anyways, actually, I should have probably changed the text. To, and the text definitely needs to be faster. It's so slow. Anyways, hopefully you guys are enjoying this. Uh, you'll enjoy this gameplay. And make sure, um, if you do enjoy it and you want to see more episodes of this, hit that thumbs up button. It kind of gives me an idea that you guys are enjoying this. So it's kind of more of an inter a way of you interacting with me, letting me know that you enjoy it. Also, feel free to drop a comment down below. I will be reading comments, obviously. Um, I mean, it's pretty beneficial to read the comments if you guys have anything constructive or any kind of suggestions. And if anybody actually knows, if there's any at any point I'm confused about or I do something that's not, like, doesn't follow the Nuzlocke um, rules, make sure to let me know in the comments and I'll, I don't know, I guess at that point I have no idea what I'll do. But I'll definitely acknowledge it and uh, if anybody has any suggestions. I also know there's a ton of, um, like, added rules that you can uh, put in. Which I've read a few, but for now I definitely want to start with um, I definitely want to start with just the the generic rules. So for now I'm going to start with these, but there are a bunch of new like other rules that you can add into to make it even more difficult or more of a challenge, or even more more enjoyable. If anybody knows of any like crazy rules that, that sound awesome, feel free to let me know. Anyways, let's actually like I oh, dude I'm I'm a little nervous. I want to see I want to see what Pokemon we get. Okay, so. Pff. Okay, well, the first one is unknown. I definitely do not want unknown. It's all over, boys. It's all over now. Dude. Lugia? Okay. I want to see what the last one is, but Lugia is definitely going to... So far, it's hands down. It's Lugia. But that is pretty cool that unknown and Lugia are the starters. That's pretty, pretty insane. Okay, so... Ambipom. Yeah, guys, it's there's no question. It, it, we have to go with Lugia. We have to, right? Yeah, I'm pretty sure. There's no question. I mean, I mean, Amber Palm is like pretty sick, but dude, guys, I can't believe this. This is awesome. This is coming out to be like the coolest thing in the world. So, anyways, guys, we're gonna pick Lugia, and um, now we have to think of a nickname. So let's think here real quick. Lugia, dude. Kinda wanna do like the, um... Yes? Kinda wanna say do Bird of the Sea. Or actually, let's just do Seabird. It's kind of a lame name, but I can't, at this moment, I cannot... I can't think of anything. Uh, I'm sorry, I can't think of anything better than, I mean, that. I mean, Seabird? Yeah. It's whatever. It's whatever. Yeah, I never thought about it, but could you imagine, like, messing up a nickname, like, right in the beginning? Just like, well, I misspelled that. Actually, I was just thinking about that. I was like, wait, did I, did I, did I misspell that? I really hope I didn't. <laughs> Anyways, guys, uh, let's go ahead, and I think we have to go, he, uh, go head off to the, is it west? Onto the next town. And then I think we get, that's where we get the running shoes, which will be super, actually, okay, let's go ahead. This is going to drive me nuts, dude, if we can't fix this. 
wait, 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 wait. I feel like I just changed that. Uh, oh, no. Quit. Alright. Pretty sure I just changed, yeah, I just, I definitely changed the button. The button mode. No, dude. Okay, this, this controller does drive me nuts every so often, because, like, the, like, the direction pad are, like, it's all one piece. Whoops. It's all one piece, so, like, you have to be precise on, like, where you're, like, put, if you're pushing down, like, sometimes that'll push to the left a little bit. So that might be, that might drive me a little nuts, but for now, whatever, I mean, I'm, I'm gonna deal with it. But anyways, guys, let's go, let's go ahead and I'm gonna try to get to Cherry, right there. Th there it is again. And try to get to Cherry Grove City and uh, get those running shoes and stuff, guys. And then uh, I hopefully level up uh, Luig uh, uh, Lu Luigi. Nope, wrong, wrong game. Uh, uh, Lugia. Look at, oh my gosh, dude. That's so awesome watching it follow you like that. I've never... That is the one thing I haven't done. I haven't ca uh, caught uh, Luigi um, in this remake yet. I've caught him in the original and Crystal and stuff like that. And Ho-Oh. But definitely not in the remake. Dude. Holy cow, dude. He's huge. Seabird. <laughs> oh, that's right. I think we have to actually go talk to our mom. Dude, I don't want to have to go talk to my mom. Alright, let's head back. All right, lady. All right, lady. Get on my way. All right, let's go in here. Talk to our mom quick. Yo, mom, what up? Let's get the Poke Gear from her. It's cute Pokemon. No, 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 no. It's an awesome Pokemon. <laughs> get it right. Duh. All right, so let's go ahead and get the Poke Gear from her. And then, and then we're gonna head over to Cherry Grove. <sighs> Just wasting time here. I also think, um, yes, I remember. I also, I'm pretty sure that I have it, uh, all the items randomized as well, and I believe the, um, trainers and gym, um, gym leaders, uh, randomized. So they're, so the items, if I'm correct, um, the items that are in the game will be randomized so that it, there's, like, it's any item, like, it could be anything, it's not just, it doesn't follow the actual, um, the actual, like, walkthrough or anything like that. And then also the um, the trainers will have um, random Pokemon. They're not gonna have the typical Pokemon that they have. And then the gym leaders will also have uh, random Pokemon. So hopefully, um, hopefully, I'm really hoping that I don't like. I'm a little worried um, that I'm like I little worried about uh, uh, Lugia. But anyway, so okay, so guys, I'm gonna explain this. This is what I mean by so this is a new route. Um, for anybody that doesn't know what the Nuzlocke challenge is, or the Nuz Nuzlocke, um, randomized Nuzlocke is. So this is a new route, so if I did have Pokeballs, the first Pokemon I run into, which would be right... Okay, well, never mind, not right there. Or there. Okay, never mind. Not yet. But anyways, if I did run into a Pokemon back there, the first one that I ran into, that would be the only one that I can catch on this route. And then the rest I have to either, I have to either train or run from, so... It looks like, dude, are we gonna like get through this entire thing without even battling a Pokemon? If we do, I mean, that'd be like nuts. But, like, I'm kind of shocked. There we go. Okay, so this would technically be the first Pokemon that I encountered and the first Pokemon I can get. It. And dude, I was right. You can catch Gen, uh, Gen 3 and 4 in here. So actually, a Shinx would be really sick to have. Okay, I want to actually see, okay, so they have Weather Ball and Whirlwind. Okay, neither one of those, I don't like any, any either one of those. I really kind of wish he had, I need to look and see, let's see. I want to see his stats and also his, um, uh, the damage. Nope, can't see, okay. Am I blind? What, uh, uh, okay, there we go. Uh, 14, 18, okay, so his, his, uh, his defense is pretty decent and his speed is decent too. So I'm okay with that, I mean... Especially for, okay, and then pressure, the Pokemon raises the foe's PP usage. Okay, whatever. Um, but anyways, um, the thing, like, with the Nuzlocke challenge, I'm always really worried not having, like, low defense. Especially getting, like, especially, um, getting, like, a RKO'd. Like, that drives, like, I'm always nervous about that. But anyways, like, I mean, it looks pretty, like, we look pretty solid. I'm kind of worried, like, now I'm gonna try to, like... Okay, so I'm gonna try to uh, beat this Cleffa. That I mean, that shouldn't be too good. I was kind of, I was more worried with the with the Shinx because it was it is electric type. 
So I was really worried that it would end up, um, it would end up actually like using like a lightning attack, a lightning attack. And I was like, yo, and I'm pretty sure, yeah, okay, so Whirlwind doesn't actually do anything, so we could be at an issue here if like, if Lugia can't even like, doesn't even have an attacking move, dude. I don't know what Weather Ball... Does Weather Ball do anything? Alright, let's go try to find another Pokemon. I want to see if Weather Ball does, even does anything. Because if it doesn't, dude, we might be in an issue where, like, we can't even do anything until we get, like, a Pokemon with attack... Like, that has an attack. Or, like, an actual attack... Uh, like, a damaging attack. So, let, I want to see if Weather Ball does anything. Okay. Okay, we're good. Weather Ball does actually do something. So... We are golden, man. We're golden. And it looks like, yeah, so, like, our, like, our HP is actually pretty okay. Like, I'm not too stoked about it, but we're only level 5. And I'm trying to think, like, what the... I mean, I don't think the, like, HP for, um... For the normal starters are, is very high. I know it's definitely not 20-something. But... I still can't believe we got a uh, Lugia uh, for our starter, dude. That's so dope. Yeah, dude, drop a like for getting a, a, a Lugia as a starter. Like, how is how does that, out of all the Pokemon, out of all Gen 1, 2, 3, and 4, we get the Gen 2 rare? Dude, this is so awesome. I'm so pumped about this. Okay, so this is where we actually get the running shoes. And, um, dude, I hate, I hate these, uh, these cutscenes like this. I guess it's not technically a cutscene. It's just like an interactive scene or whatever. It always takes forever. Anyways, guys, uh, if you're enjoying this, make sure to check out my uh, latest upload, I think, which was probably actually, I don't know when I'm uploading this, so it probably wasn't my latest upload, but uh, my Blaze Black uh, Let's Play, which um, I'm sure you guys will enjoy that too. It is not a Nuzlocke, but it, um, for the more <clears throat> excuse me, but it is a hacked version of Pokemon Black, which um, I think I've been enjoying it so much lately. It just, uh, the coolest thing is that it gives you the opportunity to catch Gen 1 through 5, um, right from the start, instead of just Gen, uh, instead of just Gen 5, which I think that's, I mean, like, in all honesty, that's what I, I thought would have happened when that game came out. I know it came out forever ago, and I know there's multiple games that, I haven't, I've played X and, uh, X and Y, and I've also played Sun and Moon, but I, uh, X and Y I've played, I think, like, three-fourths of it. But then, um, Sun and Moon, I only played, like, I think maybe I only put, like, an hour or two into it. But, um, I haven't had enough free time to kind of just, like, sit back and play that. I've kind of been trying to do a lot of Twitch game, uh, Twitch streaming and stuff like that. So, um, like I said, make sure to, oh, there we go. There's the controller doing its thing. Doing its own thing. So, like I said, make sure, uh, you guys follow me on, uh, Twitch and then, uh, or check out my Twitch channel. And then also, uh, feel free to follow me on, uh, Twitter. And that's, uh, if you're playing, if you're doing a Nuzlocke challenge... Um, send me, uh, send me some, uh, pictures of, uh, you guys' um, starter Pokemon and any kind of cool Pokemon that you ran into. Alright, so we got the map, which is super helpful. Alright, let's head up here. Let's see, so this is technically a new route, and we could, we could technically catch a Pokemon in here, but since, again, we don't have Pokeballs, we cannot, which kind of sucks, but anyway, that's actually pretty sick, though, because Kakuna, I don't want a Kakuna at all. Of all the Pokemon I can catch... Kakuna is the last Pokemon I want to actually catch. But this Weather Ball is like, it's not like super awesome, but it's definitely not the worst thing. Like, it really sucks that it only, it's only 10, 8, or 10 PV, because I mean, that's definitely, that's not going to help us. I'm really hoping uh, he, uh, Seabird learns like some legit stuff come later on. And it looks like, it looks like there's an item up here. I, I, I want to make sure I get that, see if it is a random... So it's a nest ball. Okay, so we technically have... Um, I don't even know what that is. Oop. Okay, on weaker Pokemon in the wild. Does that mean... Does that mean, like, a weaker Pokemon as in, like, a... Like, we weakened... Weakened... We... Uh, we weakened them down with our Pokemon? Or does it mean, like, a lower level Pokemon than ours? I'm not exactly 100% sure on that, but... And I'm pretty sure that was a rare, because I don't remember exactly what what that was there in the original, but I definitely, I'm pretty sure it was not an S-Ball. Because I'm pretty sure you can't get any Pokeballs until you go all the way up here, and then go all the way back, and then I think it's, is it May? I think she's the one that, um, 
shows you how to uh, catch Pokemon. So I guess we'll find out even more now. That's a power band, and I'm pretty sure that was not that yet. So our items are randomized as well. And uh, I'm going to check out what this power band does. Pokemon health uh, promotes self-defense. Um, promotes self-defense gain on leveling, but reduces a speed stat. Okay, we're going to hold on to that. I'm not going to use that right now, because uh, uh, Seabird actually does have um, decent special defense. Um, so I think we're good right there. But we're going to run over here real quick and try to head up towards... Uh, we're probably actually going to end the episode off right before we go into um, Mr. Pokemon's house. I think for the most part, guys, I think we really honestly got... I mean, not, we didn't get crazy far, but we definitely got some stuff done today. Um, and the fact that we got uh, um, Lugia as our starter is insane. I mean, like I said, I can't, it's actually kind of crazy. Like, how crazy would it have been if we got uh, Lugia and then one of the Gen 1 uh, Legendary Birds and then the Unknown as the starter? I mean, then it would be matched super close to the uh, one of the videos or one of the movies. I mean, that would be super dope. Alright, anyways, guys, um, I'm gonna go ahead and save here. And save this off. And then, um, next episode we'll be working on, uh, we'll go into Mr. Pokemon, talk to him, uh, Professor Oak. And then head back to, um, our, back to, back home to, uh, Professor Elm, talk to him. We'll, uh, get some Pokeballs from, I think it's May, I think that's what her name is. Get some Pokeballs from her, and then actually start working on our team, so... Anyways, guys, uh, thanks for che uh, checking out the video, hanging out. It was awesome. It was good to see you guys again. Um, if you did enjoy the video, uh, smash that like, up, uh, like, up, uh, like button. And then uh, we could get one like for um, getting uh, Lugia as our starter. That'd be awesome, guys. Anyways, um, I'm going to be doing... Uh, uh, it's going to be every... I think every other day uploads and I think this is only gonna be one of those days this uh, this series is only gonna be one of those days and I have two other series I'm working on so every every other day I'll be uploading and it'll be you know so obviously just one of uh, one one game a week of this so um, if you guys are killing that like button I'll move this up and do two episodes of this and um, I'll figure out how to do this schedule and stuff like that but anyways guys I appreciate you hanging out and I'll check you in the next one see you guys later